people, I see infiltration, I see Ita. You know, you see all these players and you're like, I don't know, this year is going to be so tough. I, I haven't even bothered to try to predict the, the top eight or the top 16. Like, I haven't tried to guess like a quarter of the top 32. It's so much easier pr to predict Marvel right now, and that's crazy. I, I think I think they're. I, I haven't tried with either one. Let me let me just say that I think they're both crazy. I mean, for such a uh, chaotic game, I almost feel more confident in my picks, my top eight picks for Marvel. Okay. So it's AJS against the Evolution 2011 champion, who managed to defeat Latif in the grand finals. If you recall, it was a great set. Yeah, the backdash ultra he landed. That yep. He he beat wow. Boomko as well. Yep. With option select ultra, if you recall, which is crazy stuff. Yeah, Fudo is just amazing play. This guy has all his grounds covered with his character, but his character did get nerfed since last year. A little, he's a little worse, but like still you were saying five. before, still top five still for top sure. Five. And he has—he's one of these uh, players who has amazing reactions. I remember him saying what his biggest strength was: it's his reaction game. Right. I mean, uh, he is a virtual fighter player prim primarily, and I know reactions uh, go very high in that game. So. Yeah. Uh, any kind of skill, like you get it develop in a game like Virtual Fighter, is gonna pull you leaps and bounds in any other game you learn. So I've always said it's so, it's so useful to learn multiple games because each game teaches you a different thing. Oh, definitely, man. I mean, so, I'm learning Tekken right now, and some of the aspects right, of that yeah. game, like just backdashing more than once. I, I know that sounds funny, but it's like a valuable tactic in Street Fighter 4 that not a lot of people do. Uh, like they have their options are literally cut in half after something like that. Yeah. I mean, he, he's, he's a character who loves to be playing in the mid-range, and he's up against a character who's just better at that just than he is. better, yeah, in every sense. Dash Punch is really going to be the deciding factor, but Fudo just too smart for Dash Punches. Yeah, and he's been picking great spots on screen. That was a, could have you know, been a chance, but didn't take it. Very close now. Oh, no. Oh, no he didn't go for crazy there. setups, yeah. Yeah, he's just going to, yeah, he's just EX all the way out. You know, EX, wait, jab, EX again, and that's a lot of chip damage. And he probably would have regenerated to another EX, so he just, he was <laughs> he was fine. He was in a great position. Yes, definitely. It takes the first game pretty convincingly. Ooh, I want to see some neutral jumps from AJS. It's a really good way to bait Fei Long and get info. There you go. See, and get information to see what kind of Fei Long player they are. So, And uh, Fudo just kind of showed that he's a very twitchy player right he there. He is. He absolutely is. So being uh, AJS, I would try to do some uh, like sound play, hit my buttons hard, make it seem like I'm doing stuff, neutral jump a lot, and... Uh, just play patient, you know? Yeah, one, one advantage in a way that American players have, or that just non-Japanese players have, is that most of us are not used to playing on head-to-head -head cabinets. In Japan, that's what you do. Yeah. So you're not used to hearing the opponent's buttons, and you're not used to playing your own game with buttons in mind. I oh. mean, it's it's definitely preferable to play on a head-to-head. -head. Oh, and oh, okay, so Fudo does take that one. It's definitely preferable to play on a head-on head versus head because you know, you, you don't get to hear them, so it feels a little more honest. But I've actually grown to appreciate the sound game. In Me too. Fighter, so. Me too. Yeah. And there's actually a big story about uh, one of my friends who went to Korea, and they love it too over there. So okay, that's They develop cool. it as well. It's funny. I like it. Oh, oh he, he did. All the way. <laughs> if, the, if he had guessed wrong on that, if, if uh, AJS had blocked, that would have been, you know, a good 30% life. Yeah, that would have been good damage. AJ not out of it. He is in the corner as a ball rug player. That's got to be tough. I mean, he needs to start. Yeah, he needs to start mounting some kind of offense. But Fudo is just so compact and so ready. I, I, he probably feels like every button he's hitting is going to be punished. He needed that in the ultra, and he didn't get it. He's still caught in the corner. That would have been so good, not just for damage, but again, out of the corner. And it's just been so rough for him to get out. Any chip is going to do it. Oh, oh my God! I'm telling you, this guy's reactions are amazing. Beautiful reaction right there. Amazing play. Yeah. Fudo takes it very convincingly. Four straight rounds. Hey, he won Evolution 2011 last year with yeah, a similar did. number of players in Street Fighter 4, so he proved that he can go through the gauntlet all the way. 